Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make the best baked eggplant parmesan. Eggplant parm is a classic dish and today I'm going to show you how to make it. To start, you'll need three eggplants. Cut off the end and then continue slicing into quarter inch slices. Once you have all of your eggplants sliced up, you'll need to line a baking sheet with paper towels. You'll lay your eggplant slices out into an even layer on the paper towels. Eggplant has a bitter liquid inside that's a little bit unpleasant, so next we're gonna draw that out with salt. You just wanna sprinkle on about a teaspoon or two of salt onto all of these eggplant slices. Let the eggplant sit like this for one hour. The salt will draw out a bunch of moisture. You can see the brown liquid that has come to the top of this eggplant. We're gonna rinse that off in the sink and pat it dry with paper towels. Giving them a quick rinse in the sink will also wash away all of the excess salt so we get these seasoned properly. Next, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then put out three shallow dishes or bowls. In the first bowl, we'll stir together one cup of all-purpose flour with a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. In the second bowl, we're gonna whisk together three eggs. You just wanna whisk those until they start to froth up a little bit. The third bowl will have our breadcrumb mixture. You'll need one cup of Italian style breadcrumbs, one cup of panko breadcrumbs for a little extra crunch, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. Toss this all together. Now we have our three dredging stations ready to go for our eggplant slices. You'll just need a lightly greased baking sheet to set them all on. Start with the flour and dip the eggplant slice so that both sides get coated in flour. Then we'll dip it into the egg and get both sides coated with the egg mixture. Finish it off in the breadcrumb mixture and get it coated on both sides. Lay your finished eggplant slice onto the prepared baking sheet and continue this process with your remaining eggplant slices. You should end up with a pretty full baking sheet. One of my secrets for the best eggplant parmesan is to take a little bit of grated parmesan cheese and sprinkle each of the slices with just a little dusting. Next, we're gonna bake these in the 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. You want to flip them halfway through cooking so that both sides get crunchy. Next, lightly grease a nine by 13 pan and pour about two tablespoons of marinara into the bottom and spread it out. Then we'll take half of our baked eggplant slices and layer them onto the bottom. Then we'll drizzle on some more marinara. Just drizzle it in a line on top of each one. Then we're gonna take eight ounces of fresh sliced mozzarella and place a slice on top of each eggplant. Then we'll sprinkle on some more grated Parmesan cheese and a little bit of freshly chopped basil. We'll place the other half of the eggplant slices on top of that. Get those tucked in there. Drizzle on some more of the marinara. Sprinkle on the rest of the Parmesan cheese and the rest of the basil. Then we're gonna bake this in the 400 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. It's done when the cheese is all melted and ooey gooey and bubbly and starting to brown. Then you're ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.